What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today we will be talking something different than AppSheet which is Excel. So for many of you, I'm sure you're very familiar with Excel but this is going to be the first video of the series. So we'll be covering the basics of Excel and what it does. So without further ado, let's get to it. So here's how it looks like if you're using Excel. Over here, we have the Sheets tab. This enables you to open up multiple sheets in a file. Next, we have the Ribbons and Controls. Here, you'll find various functions that can be used for your data. Next, we have the Formula Bar. This is basically the part where you can use formulas for your data, which allows you to perform calculations, analyze data, and automate tasks. Most importantly, the cells, the columns and the rows. Every data in Excel resides on their respective column, row and cell. To give you an idea, here's an example. So if your data sits on this cell, this means your data is at B3. So by knowing all that, basically you can start crafting your own set of data, such as inventory lists. In this video, I'll do a simple one. Well, to just basically give you an idea. Another feature in Excel is that you can format your data accordingly. Example, I have created an inventory with apples as the first item. And in column D, which is the price per unit, I want it to display with a proper currency format. To do that, let's start off with selecting the whole column D. To select, simply click on the top at column D. Once selected, right-click to display the properties option. And select format cells. You will see a few format available to choose from. And since I want to display the price, I will then select currency. Once that's selected, carry on with the settings. For this tutorial, I will use the dollar symbol for the currency. Once done, press OK. Now you can see the format has changed to currency. This applies to other format that's available depending on your case. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.